this video I'm going to crochet a pumpkin I'm gonna crochet this one it is super easy to make I really loved it so we're gonna need three different color brown any brown any purple the, uh, orange color and we're gonna make all this and then we're gonna add the ones inside we're gonna place it inside of this thing and then inside of this one also you can use any what you can place inside preferably cotton or any leftover yarns that are cut and you don't use anymore so here i'm gonna use this one i'm using this yarn i'm using 3.5 millimeter hook and this one lash came up that is is 12 gram 100 acrylic you can use cotton if you want basically just used this medium weight yarn and for the orange yarn also we're gonna use this one this is a little bit smaller than this regular yarn here the medium weight yarn and this is a little bit smaller than that but this is the only orange i have available so i grew up that what i have so to begin i'm gonna make a slip knot Or you can simply make it like this. And that. Chain 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 28. I have your chain of 28 in total. Once you have that, yarn over. And go into four chain one, two, three, four. Four chain from your hook, insert, make one double crochet. And I'm gonna repeat that, making one double crochet per chain until the last chain. And I am here in my last chain, placing my last double crochet. And that is for our round two. I have 26 double crochet in total. And that gives us about 6 inches long, almost. I am here in my last chain, placing my last double crochet. And this is for our round two. 26 stitches in total round three chain three one two and three turn we're going to skip the first stitch and go in the next stitch but only in the back loop skip go in the next stitch insert place one double crochet first double crochet second double crochet one double crochet in the next stitch in the back loop only and just place one double crochet per stitches in the back loop only until the last stitch and you should have 26 stitches in total just like in round two super easy I am here in my last stitch you count three chain one two three and insert your hook on the third chain and place one double crochet right there and this is your work should look like in round three and this is the result of the back loop only super easy and simple I'm gonna repeat round three until I get the length that I want that is enough to make a round of the pumpkin. I have here 627 rows in total and that equal to 10 inches long. You can add more if you want but I guess this is enough to make a round of the pumpkin. I'm gonna insert my hook here on the other side to grab this one, two, three, insert and insert your hook here to grab that pull. Go in the next stitch, 
and go in the bottom, insert your hook in the next stitch. In the front loop only, I'm gonna take the front loop on this top here. This one, there's not really front loop or back loop. The other one has, so I'm gonna take the front loop closer to this uh, here in the front stitches. Then yarn over and pull and pull through to make a slip stitch. Go in the next stitch and grab the bottom piece, insert your hook in the front loop and make one slip stitch. I'm gonna repeat that one in each of the stitches until I am in the last stitch. Then I have all these things connected. It's up to you how you connect this, just as long as they are nicely connected. Repeat that one until the last stitch. I am here in my last two stitches. I'm gonna finish it up. Making one slip stitch each to close. And there you go. It's nicely done connecting. I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna pull it a little bit enough to close these things here later on like that i just estimated that one 16 and a half inches long of this leftover yarns here now we're going to make the eyes i'm gonna use this yarn instead of this one because this one is not enough and i thought this is a much better color as well so it's up to you which color you like so in the end i choose this one we're gonna make the eyes and the teeth make a magic circle Insert your hook, grab that yarn, and pull a little bit, and then hold that yarn. Make a chain of three, one, two, and three. Insert your hook in the circle, and make two double crochet. One, two. Pull this one, chain three, one, two, three, turn, one double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet per stitches, and one double crochet here on the last, which is on the third chain. And you should have four double crochet in total in round two. So three double crochet in the first round and four double crochet in the second round. Just like a small triangle. Then chain one. Just, and then pull a little bit higher because we're going to use this later to close or to connect this one to the pumpkin. And then cut that yarn enough of this to cover all the way around to attach later on so i have seven of this in total one two three four five six seven and i made only the first round one time okay to make the first round just let me show you Make a magic circle, grab that yarn, chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, two double crochet in the circle, one, two, and we have three double crochet in total, one, two, three. Pull this one here in the bottom, chain one, pull up a little bit to close that later. I'm gonna use that to close later. Cut and you're done. And that's for the nose. Okay, so this is all the things that we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the one round only. 
only one for the nose, two for the eyes, and the rest is for the teeth. Okay, let's attach all this to this one here. Grab the purple one and choose your side, this side or the other side, doesn't matter. And so to attach this one, I'm using a needle. It's up to you how you attach the things here on the top of this mushroom, I on the top of this. So I'm gonna place it like this. This is the last round. This is the first round. So I'm gonna insert my hook here. And grab that in the bottom. And I will just go through in each of this. Until this one is attached. Then I'm going to pull that a little bit here. I'll pull this a little bit down and attach to put, place that like that. It's up to you how you connect. And like that down. And that is for our first eye. I'm going to repeat that here. Just place that closer to the other one. Make a few knots right there. Not so close and not so tight so it doesn't crumple into the other side and tight and that so this is how we connect this one so i'm gonna add for this one i'm gonna repeat for the other side placing it like that a little bit like he's mad like that and then for the bottom like this be like this way kind of like that it's up to you how you wish it to be and then you can we're gonna place the nose in the butt in the middle like this so i'm gonna attach this one all of this as it is and i'm gonna meet you once it's done and there we go this is how it looks like and the other side it's a little bit chaos but it's okay because it's inside i'm gonna grab our hook so you can see there is like a double crochet here here like that. So i'm gonna insert my hook there Grab that yarn and pull. One, and then repeat. And this one, and grab, repeat, and grab all the way around. And once that's done, just pull it. and then we're gonna grab that inside and try to pull to secure it so there's no hole showing up then I'm gonna insert my hook here and grab that yarn and pull that one inside yarn over and pull through and like that I'm gonna repeat that here just try to secure that stitch like that and another one like that okay it's gonna be just inside I'm gonna take this one and place it inside here it's gonna be like that that just simply like that pull leave a little bit here I'm going to close it pull to close that round like that and then one more time to make that knot to secure the hole and like that so in that case there's still a little bit I will go through a little bit here pull together that works easier than pulling it that hard before okay I think I'm gonna go with that and then make a few knots again like that 
looks good so far now we have a round ball so I'm gonna cut the yarn here a little bit of that place this one a little bit down and push it down here so that then let's make a few knots to close that one oh and then I'm gonna go down okay I'm gonna go out here first because it's a little bit difficult because we have something inside I'm gonna go inside in the same stitch here push that all the way down in the center of the bottom okay. I can pull I mean and it's gonna be like that I'm gonna go here in the middle again pull try to make it like this to bring the push down So for the top of our pumpkin, I'm going to use this brown yarn, make a slip knot. Let me go down a little bit so we don't waste too much of that yarn in the bottom. And then we're going to make a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and go around enter your we're gonna make it eight nine and ten so i decided to make it ten so i'm gonna insert my hook here in the first chain and make a slip stitch and then once you're done you have your first round chain three one two three and then go in the second chain here in the second chain skip the first chain and go in the second one insert and place one double crochet then one double crochet in each of the chain all the way around just make sure you have 10 double crochet in total so double check count two four six eight and ten perfect we have ten double crochet in total then once you have that Go on the third chain, skip the slip stitch, go on the third chain, one, two, three. And yarn over and pull and pull through the slip stitch. And this is your work shall look like here in the bottom. So it looks like a ring right now. So I'm gonna repeat chain three, one, two, three. For the third round, skip the first stitch and go in the next stitch. skip and in the next stitch place one double crochet and one double crochet per stitches all the way around until you have 10 double crochet in total skip the slip stitch it's not include the slip stitch so skip the slip stitch go on the third chain insert and make a slip stitch go on the go on the next round so it's kind of like this at the moment like a ring and we're gonna repeat round three until we have enough length we are now in round seven chain three and i'm gonna make a decrease insert your first stitch go to the next insert grab that yarn and pull grab that yarn and pull through two yarn over go in the next stitch grab that yarn and pull grab that yarn and pull for two three loops in your hook yarn over and pull through all that is our first decrease and then i'm just going to make one de one double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet per stitches all the way around and you have to skip the slip stitch as usual slip stitch doesn't count as a stitch so in this time we are decreasing one stitch so like before we have 10 stitches in total so now we only have nine and to make sure better count this is gonna be my last stitch 
that one so this is our chain three and this is our slip stitch so don't take that one skip that one but before that count the number of stitches we have so we have here chain three one and then one two three four five six seven wait again one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine stitches in total and then just make a slip stitch on the third chain one two three So I'm going to repeat round 8, this one, the one we just made, until I ha and I'm going to show you how many rounds I made. So I actually just repeated round uh, 8 one time, so now I have 8 stitches in total now, I am now in round 9, having 8 stitches in total, chain 3, I repeated round 8 one time only. I only repeat uh, one decrease only one time and that give me eight stitches in total so chain three um, skip the first stitch and then go to the next stitch this is your first stitch and then just grab the next after that one double crochet there one double crochet in the next one double crochet per stitches, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, close. Go on the third chain, skip the slip stitch, and go on the third chain. One, two, three, insert, and make a slip stitch. I'm gonna repeat that. Let me see. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the first stitch, go in the next. One double crochet there and one double crochet per stitches all the way around and that gives you eight stitches in total again because we are not decreasing. And go on the third chain once you're done. Skip the slip stitch again. So I have two rows of double crochet and then I have two rows of one double crochet per stitches. And then now I'm gonna decrease chain three. We're gonna repeat the decreasing part. Skip the first stitch, go in the next. That, yarn over, go in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull for two, yarn over, pull for all, just like the decreasing part. And then one decrease, well, one double crochet per stitches all the way around. One, two, three, four, five so let's count in total we're supposed to have seven stitches in total so that's one two three four five six seven right because we're decreasing only one stitch skip the slip stitch this one then go on the third chain and make a slip stitch this is our slip stitch, the ones we just made, so we don't count that one. Then I will just keep decreasing until I have... I'm going to show you how many rounds then. 
decreasing again decreasing round again we will just keep decreasing right now until this point gonna be really less so we should have six stitches in total now because we're decreasing go on the third chain no and slip stitch looks like i'm gonna stop here because it's really pointy right now so i have five stitches left on the top just until it is uh really pointy here so i'm gonna stop right there i'm gonna do is chain three one two three out of four five six i'm gonna make six really pointy thing now and then i'm gonna chain one pull tight and just cut the rest of that yarn Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In eleven round, insert your hook and insert your hook in the slip knot. Pull and bring it down a little bit in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine round. Bring it in nine round. Insert your hook in nine round. Yarn over and pull and pull through. Just to bend it a little bit or if you have another way to bend that one then much easier okay then chain one pull tight and cut the yarn secure the remaining stitches you can see it's a little bit bent which is really nice like that so there is nothing here and only this part here there is is something inside just to make it stable that it stand and then we're gonna attach it here so it's gonna be like this and to attach it's easier with a needle or with a hook place it on top and i will just use a needle here it's up to you you just i'm just inserting my hook here picking up a random stitch then i will make a few knots here to get started like that i'm just picking a stitch you're going and take the you're not too far or nicely and one i'm gonna go one more time here and just secure the rest of that secure that stitch that and pull that one Door. Two, three, two, three. that all the way here. Okay, cut and then push it down. I'm just gonna clean up all these things here, putting it out, and you're basically done. <laughs> Cute. I'm happy with it, really. putting all of this inside and I will just fold it a little bit here and there you go we are basically done